Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Debbie with the Question Queens and I have, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much I laughed when I pulled this video up and saw him in this case. <laughs> it's Captain Corny. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, he can take any insult and just make a victory out of it. I love that about him. I really do. I absolutely love that about him. He is, he's very inspirational. So, to all the haters out there, you call him corny? Well, he's Captain Corny. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. And um, <clears throat> as my channel is growing, like extremely growing, and I'm very, very blessed um, it's also brought some haters with it. So, I'm just going to do exactly what Tom would do with all the haters. And, you know, when someone calls you a name, it's like, pfft. I'm not stupid. I'm Captain Stupid. <laughs> I'm Captain of the Stupid Team. All right. Well, anyway, I am checking out Tom McDonald's I'm Corny song. And I'm very excited to hear from him. And hopefully you are too. All right, so this was released two years ago. I <laughs> still can't get over his outfit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I'm corny. All my songs are super boring. I'm like Macklemore on crack if he smoked until he was 40. I'm a racist. I'm a sexist. I try too hard to be cool. I'm a clickbait rapper. I pay for all of my- Oh my gosh. Hold on. I gotta go back. <laughs> Holy crap. I really like him. <laughs> I love his sense of humor. I love it. Okay, here we go. Oh, hang on. I'm going to see if the closed captions will work. There we go. Okay, I'm corny. All my songs are super boring. I'm like Macklemore on crack if he smoked until he was 40. I'm a racist. I'm a sexist. I tried too hard to be cool. I'm a clickbait rapper. I pay for all of my views. I got white, white, white privilege leaking out my eyes when I cry. And I'm always shedding tears because it's hard to be white. My girlfriend writes my raps. I hope I never get dumped again. I hate the libtard, so I must be Republican. Now my Gucci is fake. I got this Louis on sale. I'm a snitch like Takashi, so I will never see jail. I look just like the mumble rappers that everyone hates. I braid my hair like a girl and put tattoos on my face. I'm going to tell you all something. Um, so remember when I got sick and I was, I started to look at things that, like, um, you know, like, what I could do instead of what I couldn't do. And I really changed my focus. Well, where I started was, is I started joining all kinds of groups on Facebook. And I came across a police scanner group. And I'm like, okay, I'll join. Well, they were so overwhelmed with so much. And I'm like, hey, do you all need help like moderating? So fast forward, I got into it with one of the guys there. He was like, I love our police. Um, I don't like bad police. It's it's pretty simple, cut and dry with me. And I don't know anybody that likes bad police officers. I don't know anybody that likes bad people. So anyway, um, I ended up starting my own group. 60,000 people later. It's almost like 70 now. There's 70,000 people in there. Well, I don't allow anything in that group that's strictly informational, so there's no bias. That's what it's called, just uh, unbiased uh, information. So I don't allow race discussions. I don't allow opinions. If you post something, you can have opinions in the comments, but not in the actual post. So everything we put out is strictly informational, period. And each morning, I would wake up, Two messages. This is when everything was really controversial. There was a lot of, um, oh, uh, a lot of the riots going on and marches everywhere, and it was it was really bad. I didn't take a side on anything. I didn't. I just didn't want any of that 
in, in anything I was doing. I got attacked on every side that you can imagine. I was called a racist, which I am so not. I was called a Nazi, which I am so not. I was called a left extremist, which I'm not. I was called a right extremist, which I'm not. I had death threats. Death threats. I'm going to find out who your family is. You are taking away my free speech, you nasty leftist something. To you're a racist person, you won't let me talk about my skin color. It was so bad. It was so bad, but it, it didn't matter what I did. I got attacked by every side. And that's some of the things I can relate to him because I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not anything with a label. I'm just me. And all my political, but you don't know what they are. You, you don't know what I believe politically or what I'm for or what I'm against. And it just is amazing to me how much you can get attacked just by literally existing. Now, the things that he does and takes, it doesn't matter what you say about him. He can take it. I will tell you, some of those people scared me. All right, I didn't mean to get on my soapbox. But I thought you all might find that interesting. All right, so let's back up a little bit. is fake i got this louis on sale i'm a snitch like takashi so i will never see jail i look just like the mumble rappers that everyone hates i braid my hair like a girl and put tattoos on my face yeah why do you keep talking about me everything's been said all that hating oh is in healthy you might end up there Okay, I'm corny and whack, I'm horrible trash I'm the worst rapper alive and I'm ignoring the facts I try too hard to be edgy, my bars are garbage, you win I'm 100% pure grade A Colombian cringe And if rap was a game you could play with your friends I'd be the SoundCloud rapper boss you fought at the end Look, I'm so thirsty for clout that I'd slap my mama for fame I'm 30, but I look like I'm your grandfather's age I'm like Joyner Lucas Corny had a baby with logic The doctor dropped it on his head and said, that's a Tom McDonald I smell like oh MGK just God. ate a burger and farted And my face tattoos look like I fell asleep at a party, retarded Why do you keep talking about me? Everything's been said All that hating isn't healthy You might end up dead So corny, you're so lame, you're unhappy, <laughs> so you call me names. Oh my god! Been the same since seventh grade, angry, sad, and full of hate. Take it out on me, cause you're in pain. They call me a loser, say I suck. Tell me I'm ugly, well, so what? You're so stupid, are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. They call me a loser, say You're so stupid, are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt They call me a loser, say I suck Tell me I'm ugly, well so what? You're so stupid, are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt Kick your butt
I haven't got anywhere near the amount of hate that he has gotten. Um, there was, there's a, um, <laughs> there's a part of YouTube in the comments. So when I'm going through the comments, YouTube studio something, I don't know. And you hit comments and it gives you the comments on each end of it, like all the videos. And it sorts it by the ones you've responded to or you haven't responded to, but it's got a bunch of different options. So one day I, I'm like, well, I was trying to find one comment that I replied to so I could try to find their response, which I never did because you can't find that. Um, and it gives you this little thing and it said held for review. I'm like, oh, I didn't know I had comments that were held for review. So I hit that and there's just all kinds of them. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, by the way. So if your comment disappears, um, I think that's what's happening to it. And it didn't make any sense. Like, the majority of them were all actually just normal comments. So eh, that was a little weird. <clears throat> However, I went through all of them. And then at the end of the video, I mean the end of the video, the end of the list, there was this thing. And it said, hidden comments. We have hidden these comments um, because they are basically insulting. Click here if you want to see them. I'm like, I want to see them. <laughs> so I clicked it. Never clicking it again. Just letting you know. I mean, comments, something like, you're a fat ass, and I don't even know why you're on YouTube. Like, it was bad, and there was a lot. There were a lot. I was so shocked. So absolutely floored at some of the things that people said. And some people are so mean. Like, you must be the most miserable person and the saddest person in the whole world for you to come to my channel, which I think I'm probably the happiest person, and be that hateful. I can't imagine, like, this was just my list. I wonder what Tom's is like. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so, never visiting that section of the comments again. So if you leave a really nasty, hateful, gross comment, well, I have news for you. YouTube hides it from me and I'm never going to see it. <laughs> so, but anyway, well, I love that video and I love that he can take something super negative and then just laugh at it. That's what we all need to do. So I'm not a fat ass. I'm Captain Fat Ass. Get that right, Buster. <laughs> holy cow that was funny well what a great video i hope you all loved it i did i did no oh, i love you tom i love you all right well thanks so much for your time and i hope you enjoyed this and i will be back with you real soon all right bye-bye